Okay, so hello and welcome to the show. Today I want to talk about something very interesting, but first I need to shut the door. Hello and welcome to the show. Today I want to talk about something easy and quick because it's a Sunday and 1st of April and I thought if I were the kind of person that loves pranks, I would probably do something fun in a video, but I'm not the kind of person. So let me talk about something that I realized when I moved away from Hungary. This thing dawned on me after a little while, but some time had to pass in order for it to take effect. And so here is the thing. When I moved, I realized two things. First is that this was going to be a permanent thing or at least something that's a very long-term whatnot. Second of all, I still have my business in Hungary, I still have strong ties to the country, but that's probably only one-third of my life. And when I periodically go back and I talk to friends and family, people seem to notice that my reactions towards whatever bad is happening in the country are a lot different now, simply because I'm not really affected by them. And it's not like I would have been affected if I had still lived in Hungary. It's more like when you know that you have to depend on something, it starts to matter more and you start worrying a lot more. So whenever someone shouts something like, if the current government wins the election, they are going to make a dictatorship or something. Keep that in mind that this is just a random thought and it's not true or probably won't be true. But I don't feel worrisome. Yet people who still live in Hungary, oh, that's a funny expression, isn't it? I'm not implying that people eventually will move away from Hungary. Oh, English is fun. Right, anyways. So people who live there usually worry a lot more. Simply because if something ha bad happens, they will have to deal with it. And I won't. Or at least not to that extent. Because even if the government decides to go all out dictatorship and closes down old businesses and stuff and I have to get rid of mine, I still have a life here. Of course, similarly, if something happens here and I'm forced to move back to Hungary, I'd still have a thing there. So it's sort of, I'm having these two feet on the ground thing if that makes sense at all. But yeah, of course, lots of people, when they move from one country to the other, they move everything there. And I think I'm quite fortunate to still have some ties to Hungary. And it's just a curious situation I'm in. But yeah, I guess that's something that occurred to me some time ago. This video is here to prove that aliens existed in ancient times. If you take a closer look at this picture that I'm showing you, you can clearly see that amongst all the ancient Greeks, there is a figure that doesn't quite fit in there. Well, no, I'm kidding. That's just a cheat code in Age of Empires 1. And as you can see, I'm playing with it right now, and I suck. That's why I need extraterrestrial help. Here I am pillaging through a village while my spaceman protects the village. Clearly I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just wandering around, killing everyone. Oh look, someone's trying to fix the town center. Die, you heretic. Quick, everyone attack the barracks. Hey, you, what are you doing there? Oh, you little enthusiastic warrior. Okay, it's time to build a wall for no reason at all. Oh, well, now I'm just wandering about the map, looking for some farms to destroy, because that's what the mission is supposed to be. It looks like there are no farms at all, but at least I managed to find another town center. That's something. Oh, farms spotted! Farms spotted! Let's go and destroy them. Or on second thought, let's just all die. Okay, I think the biggest problem with games 
when you're an adult is that you don't have the patience and the energy to put the proper amount of investment into it. So I find myself cheating all the time because I'm not patient enough to wait an hour to recreate an army and then defeat the other player properly. I admire those people who do that. It's brilliant, but I just can't. And this is the end. Well, I guess that's it. Not sure what to make of it, but I wonder if anyone's out there in a similar situation and what your experiences are. Thanks for watching as usual and see you around. Goodbye.